But what does it actually take to get one of these in the state of Alabama? It's all told we spent about 400 bucks, but this is what we got. That's a good whiskey. There's a lot going on there. All right, we are live this Monday, just in time. Jill literally just rolled in. I'm like, babe, you going live with me or am I going live without you? And she's like, I, whatever you got to do. Whatever you so got to do. Luckily, she was able to slip in just in time. So we are right on time. Even the intro freaking worked this time. It is going to be a good live stream. We got barrel pick updates we've got to talk about. I'm going to warm up my palate right here. Brian Sears reached out and sent me a couple, maybe a few bottles, one of them being this vintage, dusty old granddad right here, which you see, I've already drank a little. This was a fresh, unopened bottle right here. I think this is from the early 2000s, maybe late 90s, and we used this in a video. Here, pull, you want to pull yourself there just a little bit? Ah, oh, man, the chat is active already. Kyle in the chat. Hey. Uh, old Granddad 114 got a little hard to find. I find it everywhere now, though. It just was for a little bit. Um, but these, these, this is a Dusty. This is one from back in the freaking day right here. And here's the problem, guys. We just filmed a video. I just filmed a video where I took all these Dusty whiskeys and I compared them to their modern-day counterparts. And I don't want to, I'm not going to spoil the whole video, but in the case of this Old Granddad right here, this dusty old granddad is better than half of the allocated bottles I've bought in the last two years. Smells Maybe more. really good. Like this old granddad right here, the bonded old granddad, it, it completely demolished the old granddad of today. I've never, I don't think and I've And it's had. better than half the allocated bottles I've bought. I don't think I've had Swear. old granddad. So good. I've got an old granddad if you want to try it. You want to try it versus that one, see what you think? Sure. Okay, see if we can find it back here. Should be right back here somewhere. We'll give Jill. We should have Jill blind it. Oh, you should have me blind it. Okay. Well, you want to hand me two glints. I blends. already know which cup is it. Well, if I could get Hand me another... two glints and I'll... Give me the two colored glints right there. Oh, the two colored yeah. ones. I'll just turn my You're just going to turn your head? Is that how we're going to do it? Yeah. I'm too lazy to get up out of this chair. And the leg hurts, so you can't make me... Oh, this is a vintage one, too. Hold on. You can't I grabbed make a, me This leave. is another vintage one right here. So let me find the modern one. Here's the modern one right here. I'm injured, so you cannot let me. Jill's got a little hurt leg there. She's hobbling on one leg. Okay, here you go, right here. Try that. Tell me which one's better. All right. Turn. Jill gets a blind. Ron Martin with the super chat. Merry Christmas. B team. Man, I hope you have a good holiday. This is going to be a good one for us. Austin with the $9.99 Super Chat. Woodford Reserve, Double Oaked Old Fashioned for the win. That, hey, I love it. I love a good Woodford Double Oaked Old Fashioned. Before we went live, Whiskey Wisdom dropped a $10 Super Chat. Cheers, Bruzel. Thanks Thank for you. spending some time with us the other day on Zoom. Looking forward to your video from that night eventually. I'm pretty sure we'll rush that one out here in the not too distant future, but we had a good conversation. I appreciate you having me on. All right. Monday Night Football, man. Who cares about that? I will be glad when Monday Night Football just goes away. <laughs> it's it's uh, messing up all my hanging out with you cool folks. Um, any news about the people for the Frey Ranch pick? So um, Alex Shred um, is, is the one that's going through that process. He was out last week. So we should have selections later this week for who's going to go. So that, that decisions will be made this week. And we'll reach out to folks, and then if some folks back out or can't go, then we'll slide in alternates. So, so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to have him take who submitted. And so I've been working on an algorithm. And, and what we're thinking about doing with some of our more desirable barrel picks is I've worked on an algorithm that takes, like, how much you've, you've donated on Patreon, and then it's, it's going to like factor in how long you've been a patron. So somebody who's been a patron for a long time but is on a lower tier is going to have just as good a, or maybe a better chance than somebody who just jumped in last week, right? And so we're still tweaking that algorithm. I may take everybody who, and then it, it chooses randomly, right? It chooses randomly, but your odds are based on that. So it's not like we just have an algorithm that picks somebody. It is a random selection, but you get basically get a certain number of entries based on 
an algorithm, you know, combination of, of your tier and uh, the duration. So I'll probably use that to select who's going to go on the barrel pick. So I need to, I can probably set that up tomorrow and do that. Uh, Jonathan Huntley sipping on OGD114. Nice. Whiskey Wisdom, let's get the likes to 200. We need to do that for sure. <clears throat> Beach Sand Bourbon, sip it on a Penelope Barrel Strength. I posted your channel link in my video. Day 11 post to my channel. I'm following your suggestions on posting. Nice. Keep going. Keep posting. You just, you, every time, just try to improve the videos just a little bit, and they'll eventually be fantastic. Electric Shenanigans, Woodford Wheat Whiskey, bottled in bond to taking care of my sick babies. There is a little stuff going around. I've had a little bit of it this, you know, Sunday I was a little down and out. I don't know if I picked something up at the, uh, at the uh, lottery there, but we did go. I went to the lottery this past weekend in Alabama. I did not. Camped out, got us some nice bottles. I'm not going to spoil that too much. That's not what this stream's about. Uh, don't forget, if you're in this stream, at the end of this stream, if you're a patron or if you're a channel member here on YouTube, if you're um, in the uh, Discord, after this stream, I'm going to jump over there for at least an hour, hang out with folks where we have a voice chat. Everybody can, can chat and ask questions, and we can talk back and forth. If you're a patron, you've just got to link your Discord to your patron. If you have trouble with that, ping somebody. I probably can't fix it tonight, but we'll get you straight. If you're a channel member here, you just need to jump over there, ping somebody, let them know. Ping a, a moderator, an admin, or ping me. Again, might not can fix it up tonight, but next time, you'll be able to join. Man, I can barely keep up with the super chat. Into BBQ, dropping the monster super chat. Sipping on E.H. Taylor single barrel. Merry Christmas. Thanks for the knowledge. Appreciate it there, barbecue. Austin Atkins with the 999 super chat. Have you tried any of the Lucky 7 products? Bought their holiday toast, which is a double oak. I think I've got a Lucky 7 back there somewhere. We may have to dig it out here in a little bit when we get through all of these bottles that we're going to try tonight. And Smokey said, congrats on 500,000 500, subscribers. subscribers. Thank you. Honestly. Thank you. Thank you so very much. It, it, you wow. know, it's like we've got so many <laughs> crazy things we're trying to do, honestly. Like a lot of things I can't completely share with y'all. Like there's a lot of really interesting and fun things we're trying to do over the next year or two. And so you lose sight of where, how far we've come so fast. Like if you'd have told me when we started that we would have, like I wouldn't believe it, first of all. What would be a goal? I was like, a couple of years, if we can get, you know, if we get 100,000 subs in a couple of years, a few years, that, that would be all right. Like I was hoping for a little more than that, but it's like, that would be good. You know, that would be wonderful. We had 100,000 in five months, and here we are um, a year later at 500,000. So that is nuts. Now we just need a meal. I need that validation. I need that, you know, that gratification of a million. <laughs> 500K is about how much Bama pays refs to win games. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, we're probably going to I just talked telling Jill tonight, Ryan, we're going to have to work on our East Coast road trip here soon. So, um, Southern Lots Star. Lots of trips to be I've planned. reached out to Southern Star. They're one, they're, they're one of the ones that we've reached out to. Um, they've got a PR firm. They introduced us to the person over their barrel pick program, and they didn't reply to me. So I emailed them again today. Hopefully we can do a barrel pick. They're on our list. We got a bunch of folks we're reaching out to right now, probably a dozen plus that we're reaching out to right now and having early conversations or waiting, awaiting replies. So got to get that gold play button. That's right, Smokey. Uh, appreciate it, Drambone. Um, so which one do you think here, Jill? What are you thinking? Which one's better? What if Jill feels the same as I do? It's going to be funny if she does it. It's going to be the funniest thing ever. Well, Sagamore's I, worth it. I will say, hold on, let me, not before I say that, let me. Because <laughs> I was there when you filmed the video. Mm -hmm. Open my JD Barrel Proof Ride, you're not thrilled? Man, OG Brick, hate to hear that. I have not had any Rock Castle, no. It's good, but not mind-blowing. Well, I mean, I, the Barrel Proof Rise are not mind-blowing. The special release is, um, I don't know about, we'll find out about this double barrel here, um, but the really good Rise. Now, if you don't like Rise, it's, it's not mind-blowing, but it is a really good Rise to me. But he just picked up the Ben Holiday Naughty and Nice One Barrel Series Bottles. Awesome. 
Epcot Drink Around the World episode. Yes. We don't need any more Disney ideas. Yes, we do. We need oh. all the Disney ideas that you can come up with. Okay. Well, I mean, I can actually come up with them, but I need <laughs> validation that you guys want to see that. LG, they don't want to see it. They're just trying to egg it on. They're just trying to be nice to me. I have not tried any Old St. Nick's. I bought a few, but they were like friends wanted them, so I picked them up for them. I need some. I agree with Smokey. We should end the stream with a special pour for 500,000 subscribers. I mean, we, we definitely, absolutely have to. Yeah. So we'll ask at the end what we should give a try to. Um, let's see. So I, any barrel products? Yes. Fabian, I mentioned them in a lot of the videos. The Orange Label Private Release blends from barrel in particular, but honestly, they're normal season. I think, was it batch 34, 35? We're really good. Uh, seagrass, like there's a lot of really good barrel craft spirits products. Brian Sears is in here. Brian Sears! He recognizes the bottle. Does this, does this look familiar? So Brian Sears is the gentleman that hooked me up with this fantastic bottle of OGD along with um, a, a Old Forester and that big bottle a vintage MG, or not o OGD, excuse me, I'm about to call it MGD. What am I talking about? Is Mixer's 10-year worth $70? It's worth a lot more than that, Thomas Moore. So if you can find a 10-year for 70, buy everyone they'll allow you to have, <laughs> and then turn around and, like, it's worth twice that. <clears throat> uh, the Ben Holiday Soft Red Wheat depends on where you are, Braden. So it's available, like they have pretty good distribution. The Bonded is out to a lot more places, like the Bonded's in Alabama now for Ben Holiday, but the Soft Red Wheat is not. The 375 milliliter bottles of Very Old St. Nick or Cash Strength Stitzel Weller? Well, I need some of that. I have some, the, we had some Stitzel Weller distilled whiskeys in that video we shot with these Dusties. The, and they, they're interesting, don't get me wrong. I, this one was the one that just blew me away because I expected those to be really good. What do you think? You're not? I am like I, not. I give up. Um, I'm finding it more of a struggle than you did to say one is exceptionally better than the other. Okay. So for me, the, the, the new one, it's, it's a fine pour. It's a good pour. I like the flavors, but it's a little more one note. Um, you know, it's just kind of like a good oakiness. Um, the old one has a lot more subtlety, a lot more soft vanilla on it, and a lot more complexity. Like, there's just a lot more things going on. The, the flavors were a little sharper. You know, they weren't quite as dull to me. So I, I, preferred, I preferred the old old granddad, for sure. Sagamore cash strength worth $70. I think I've had a cash strength rye of Sagamore, and it, it seemed, it was really good. I would pay $70 for it. What's better, BTAC or the Pappy Collection? I love the William LaRue Weller, but, you know, Pappy 15 is really good. I would rather have 15 or WLW over the older Pappies, in my opinion. Uh, Jack Daniels Triple Batch is good, surprisingly. I like it. It has a lot of uh, malted whiskey in it, and I'm not usually a fan of that. I have a clear winner. Which one's the clear winner? This one. That's the old one. Clear. How clear? It was a clear, uh, but, but they're both good. I didn't, like, it's not like one of them's bad. But this one is a clear winner. Yeah. Almost got 1K already? What, what were we at? Like 1160 last time was a record? We need to keep keep pumping the likes for me. Let's see. 500K stream, see if we can't get 1,200 people in here. Whoa. Good option for someone just getting into bourbon. Ty, there's a video on the channel. I go into like eight, it's top five, but I go into eight because we over deliver. That's what we do, Ty. <laughs> uh, but in that video, I go into why I want you to try all those. Try, check that one out for me if you would. Mark said it's the great flavored Glen Karen. It's, <laughs> the, <LOL>. yeah, <laughs> it's the great Sorry, flavored Glen. It is um, good though. I tried to, I washed them really good. So we, we do have barrel pick news, blessed assassin. I'm going to pour just a little bit more of this while we get into barrel pick news. Um, so this week, again, I'm going to, I'm going to run a, an algorithm um, that is going to calculate like your, your patron tier and how long you've been a patron. And then it will, you know, it will randomly select, but the longer you've been a patron and the higher your tier will increase your odds and then it'll randomly select folks to that have submitted for the Frey Ranch pick. 
So we will have um, selections on that this week. And then we've got uh, the Ben Holiday pick. I'm still awaiting news. The, I have no response to my last two emails and then no useful response to my, my previous email. So don't know what the status of that one is. It looks like that's going to be at least January before that one comes in. Still Austin is picked. They were shooting for January to get that one bottled, but it might push into February. We might want to push it into February at this point. Uh, the two that have real movement right now uh, are the Clyde Mays picks, and they are here. I have the Clyde Mays picks here. We are going to try them on this live stream, and they are going to be for sale tomorrow. Now, these ship out of our New York retailer, so the same person that shipped a lot of our previous ones before the, the short barrel um, picks. These are the, the last ones we have up there for now. Uh, and so we've got the rye and the bourbon here. We're gonna try in just a few minutes, give you a review on those. We also have the haul from the, um, the bourbon hunt video that just came out. Uh, and then let's see, the last barrel pick is 13th Colony. So 13th Colonies has made it to Texas, confirmed at the dis distributor's warehouse. They have to ship it to the retailer before, like we don't want any problems with ordering it and it taking four or five days to get to the retailer. So we're like, let's just wait till you have it in your store so that you can, as soon as orders come in, you can start boxing them and shipping them out. Uh, and so they ordered them and they said there was some issue exactly like why we were avoiding that. And it's going to be the 14th before they're in the store. So they are expecting them. It's an expectation. Stuff happens. They are expecting them to arrive at the retail store in Texas on the 14th. And if they do arrive on the 14th, again, and if, if they do arrive on the 14th, they will go for sale a week from tomorrow. So we, we will have these Clyde Mays for sale tomorrow to patrons. If you're interested in those, you can join the patron group. Um, and the 13th Colony should be for sale next Tuesday, barring something unforeseen. Um, let's see, try to keep up with everything. Matthew with the super chat, congrats on 500K. Appreciate it, Matthew. Thank you, Matthew. Uh, let's see, there were some questions here. I see, um, when does the lottery video from the past weekend come out? Not sure. We usually, when they're timely like that, we'll usually rush them through. So it might be next Friday, more than likely Friday afterwards. Um, the Memphis Hall was good. So that, that was a couple of good bottles there. I'm trying to make sure I didn't miss any question. Uh, someone was saying something about hmm, if you had any, any work you needed done on Maggie. Any work on, yes. You know there how to tune a, a carburetor? Coleman, Alabama. You know how to tune, can you tune a carburetor <laughs> and do you have a lift so you can pull it? Like, do you have an actual shop? Reputable mm -hmm. shop with some, so it was a shop. I need like my, the guy that was doing the work for me closed down. He just, he's like, I don't want to do this anymore. He doesn't want to run a shop. So I'm, I'm waiting to get into a shop uh, like an hour away in, in almost in Noonan um, to get some leaks fixed. So whoever said that, post it down there, send me a message. Let me know if you've got a legit shop. We need to get Maggie back on the road. 280 for a nine-year Willet purple top would probably be the cheapest I've seen one, Jay Hammer. The app update. So they want an app update before we get on these. Uh, the app admin, I got the login for the admin. So I can now go in and add bottles and different things. Um, I've made some tweaks. I was like, okay, there's some, there's some relationship things here that are not quite right that the developers have to adjust. They're going to adjust those this week. I have asked for an update on the front end status. I have not got one yet as of this stream. I should have one hopefully later this week. But my hope is, is that we have an MVP, maybe January, February. And if we can get the front end set up, we may bring some more developers in to speed up that front end so we get it in January, February. Um, and then we're gonna have just a limited number of people have access to the app because it'll be very basic. It'll be adding bottles and let's get data in there and let's test the core functionality of scanning you know, the barcode on bottles and stuff like that. Um, once we have all that down, then we start rolling out it more and more functionality and, and hopefully maybe toward, you know, in, into Q2, we might actually have not 100% like all the functionality we want, but a functioning app 
that uh, we can we can start distributing to folks. It was Chris Marlowe. He says, yes, we have a shop. Franklin Tire and Auburn put the holly carb in my fair lane. They don't usually do, that's the problem. I've asked them. I called them, I think, for that car when yeah. I first got it. And they're like, we don't want to work on that. Um, let me see, who said it? Chris Marlowe. Is he visible? Like what? Yeah, he was right. What? I see this Chris. Nope. Up, up, up Right up. there. At Bruzel, yes, we have a shop. Up oh, there he is. Right there we have a shop. See? <laughs> I, I should have been looking for the Bruzel right there. So, Chris, send me a message, man. Hit me up on Instagram. We'll afford it to me. Daniel, greatest meeting you last, great meeting you last weekend. I still want a toasted short barrel. I'll even bring a brisket. This man, this man right here, I swear, okay? I swear. Well, is that the thing? We the go sleepover? every time. He <laughs> had, first of all, he's OG, okay? First super chat, OG. This Aww. man has the Bruzel barrel pick. That's how I know you're OG. Aww. If you've got the Bruzel craft spirits barrel pick, pick, you're OG. That's the OG marker right there. Every time somebody brought up a bottle, every time somebody's like, hey, I want to I wanna try this. I really wish I could try that. He had it in his car. Like every <laughs> bottle somebody came, and then he had a brisket in the trunk. What? This man came prepared. I just aspire to be that level of prepared for a get-together for sure. JW Outlaws made a road trip to get the six year 13th Colony Cash Drink pick in Fairburn. Mm. That one may be the one I've got in the back here. I don't know. I, it was a recent, that pick was a little older, so it might not be that one. Looking forward to my bottle. Me too. I can't wait. Trunk brisket is the best brisket. <laughs> it was good. Man, I had it in a cooler. It was still warm. It was like just tender. Yeah, I got a little cough, a little coffee cough. But he doesn't have COVID. I tested him. I don't think so. I'm spilling water down my shirt, though. No, I tested you. All right. You did test me. She did test me. Um, I've been tested. Let's try. Y'all want to try the haul first, or you want to try the barrel picks first? Y'all let me know. The haul bottles or the barrel pick bottles? Which one are we going with first? Slime OGD down there. Double barreled rye. Have you tried the rabbit hole single barrel sack strength? I, I have not. Mm. Haul, 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 barrel. barrel haul is winning. Haul, 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 barrel, ooh, haul, haul. Okay, we're going with the haul. That keep keep posting. That's fine. If ooh, we got a thousand and fifty-seven, can we get? Can we get to twelve hundred? That would be a record. Um, this is a dirty Glen. <laughs> Kyle said, "Seems like haul one." <laughs> seems like haul one. Looks like in a it. landslide. Give me a fresh Glen over there, Jill, please. It looks to look it. Both. We can't do both at the same time. I heard like a little bit of a chip. We'll just sit on there inside and grab another one. No, it's fine. Hall one for sure. Yeah, yeah. Memphis Hall is crazy. Now, most of the bottles we had in is the this Memphis. Is from Memphis? This is the Memphis Hall. Most of the bottles we got in that hall were just bottles we have. So I, I'm not, I don't have those open. Like I have E.H. Taylor. I've tried that on the stream. I, I have Eagle Rare. I've tried that on the stream. I'm not opening my little baby Blantons. That's not going to happen. Little baby my little cute little Blantons is back my there. You want to grab the cute little Blantons, Blantons for everybody? Um, should be stuck in the back over there. Little, little sweet <laughs> little baby, little alcoholic pocket sized Blantons. Hit that Where like button, Corbin. Should be back there. Is it not? Should be like back over there somewhere. Oh. I think there's a little bitty. It might have got put in the back, but Maybe I think it's back there. Maybe get off my chair yeah, with know, my heart leg. Is this as close to as good as Coy Hill? Oh, we are about to find is that out. It? That? Yeah, a little <gasps> cute little Blanton's. Oh. No, it's not that one. Oh, it's, it's bigger not than that one. It's bigger well, than that. This one. is the baby Blanton's. That is the baby baby Blanton's. Yes, that is the pocket size. You're right. That's the alcoholic size. The other one is the concealed carry size. I don't see it. You don't see a Blanton's back there. I do not. Jacob, fun question. Do you like music with a nice special pour? Yes. Um, and I so I I have the. One of the things that frustrates me about YouTube, we used to go over on TikTok. They don't care. Music, whatever. You, we could blare some music. We could stream here. They just like completely, you know, shut. they don't shut the stream down, but they completely demonetize the stream. And, you know, we don't feel like it gets quite as many views if we're using copyrighted music. Are they doing so I, I like a good, like, I'm just going to go to a nice Tom Petty. Do what? Commercials again in this live? Have they just... We didn't turn, like, I literally... Yeah. We didn't turn it on. We didn't. We didn't tell but them to start. They had to change. They had to change something. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. I'll. I'll try. I. 
I didn't check. I, we used the same settings as the last stream, and I forgot to go in there. and I checked the last stream, but I didn't check this one. Okay. Um, so. What is that? That is the Jack Daniels Double Oaked Rye, right? Twice barreled, special release Tennessee rye whiskey. If you like oak, and it's interesting because it is sweet oak, but it is like a thick, heavy sweet oak. And I like sweet oak typically, um, and I like the oak on this one, but it is like a serious heavy sweet oak rye. And so if you like, so if you like, say, the 13th Colony Double Oaked, um, this is kind of in that vein, like that kind of heavy sweet oakiness. I really like it. Everyone needs pocket whiskey all the time. Yes, we absolutely are looking for suggestions for our stops on the East Coast. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Any suggestions? Yes. We are planning that trip now. I don't know when it's going to happen, but um, we are going to, uh, we're going to hit the East Coast here Sometime early next year. How good was that Michter's 20 year? It, I remember it as being really good, but I'd had a lot of pours that evening. So it, it didn't get the proper respect that it deserved, Ian. Uh, but somebody wanted to buy it. I was going to drink it. You know what doesn't get the proper respect it deserved? Jack Daniels. Jack Daniels. You like this? Yes. <laughs> it's good, isn't it? When is the official podcast get, coming? Tyler, that, that doesn't get I've the had some conversations. I've had some conversations about a podcast, some thoughts about it. We haven't got there yet. What's the email again? My email? Who Info you at Bruce. I don't know. That's you, what we've got. You cutting I, me out? No, you want to do a podcast? Look at him. Have we been approached by the Travel Channel or Food Network? Not yet, Trey. We did have I did have a producer reach out when we were just doing TikTok lives, and that just kind of fell through. He got busy and um, so we probably, uh, Tsunami, we'll probably go up to the D.C. area and back home and then start back at D.C. and head on up the East Coast. So it'll probably be two trips to get the whole East Coast. Gosh. Um, I, I've been in Indiana, but I haven't done a hunt in Indiana yet. So we did the Starlight stuff. Um, that's, that's Indiana, right? Uh, but I've got to go do some picking. Uh, we're going to hit Chicago and probably Indiana. You like that? Tiller got some good you. bottles on Saturday. I'm telling you. Jill loves it. Jack Daniels does not get the credit it deserves. Okay. But you got to like the oak. you got to like, like, that's got a ton mm -hmm. of oak. There's some double oaks that are just, you know, There's add a little oak. about that one then because I'm not it's getting. It's a rye now. I'm not getting like that. It, like, for me, I, when I'm thinking oak, I'm thinking that, and maybe I'm wrong, but I'm thinking that peanutty. No, that's Not yeah, that's different. that's that's different. Yeah, yeah. Well, maybe this I is like just oak that because yeah, that oak on the like on the, you just get that heavy kind of oak tannins. It's good, but it's it's a sweet oak. Whatever which that is, it's really nice. The rye delicious. goes really well with it. It's really good. Do I feel kind of pretentious with all this oakiness? Well, I mean, it's just I love it's it. the best way to explain it, right? You get the interesting rye spice up front, and then that is just overwhelmed with. Just nice, sweet oak tannins. It's the best way to explain it. I don't feel pretentious. I'm just trying to be helpful and explain things to people. <laughs> and I just don't have, like, apparently I don't have the right words. I apologize. Uh, what do I do with my old empty rare bottles? Jill takes all of them. Had somebody reach out not long ago. It was like, hey, we'll buy all your bottles up to like $100. And I was like, those people are refilling them. I'm not selling them bottles. <laughs> Anybody care for the Jack Daniels Triple Max? I like it. SLB collab in Indiana. Maybe I'm down. I'm down. Don't forget to hit the Detroit area. We're like 80 people from a record oh my of the goodness. most we've had on this live stream. Monday Night Football must suck tonight. <laughs> what I get from the Alabama lottery? Um, I got uh, E.H. Taylor Barrel Proof. I got, um, oh, I got a Parker's Heritage Rye. Uh, and a few other little miss. I did get a Michter's Toasted Barrel Barrel Strength Rye along with an assortment of other bottles. Um, but we'll wait till the video comes out to try those. William with the Super Chat. Love y'all's content. How does it compare to the Woodford Double Oak? So this, like Woodford Double Oak has a lot of sweet rye on it, or sweet oak on it as well. But it has a vanilla balance. So this is going to be similar to that. I feel like the oak is heavier. But instead of that sweet vanilla, it's got a nice rye spiciness on the balance. So it hits, like Woodford to me, hits me with vanilla, and then that kind of gives way to the oak tannins. Um, this one hits me with rye. So it's similar in that regard, 
but so much more interesting. Like the rye is so much more interesting than the uh, vanilla. That's good. Oh, where'd I eat at when I was in Memphis? I don't know. Like, don't even know. So I, I drove in, ate lunch before I got there. Then we filmed that. And then I went to an event. I forget the name of the restaurant that we went to that had the event mm. with Three Chord and the um, the Memphis Bourbon Club. I forget their name. So I apologize for not, not having that information. Um, and Memphis Bourbon Society, I believe, is their name. And I ate wings there. So I didn't really get Memphis food. But we'll be back in Memphis. We got a couple of places up there we're talking about doing a barrel pick with. 1,200. We hit 12. We are setting records. Look at us. Look at it. 500K, now we're getting 1,200 folks staring <laughs> at my ugly mug. Hearing me say okiness 1,500 okey, okey, times. Okey. I don't know. I guess I really have to do a better job with figuring out the oaky. I haven't okay. figured out what oaky is when I'm tasting. Uh, okay, so... Not Fair tonight. point. There's well, but you can't. Oh, no, no. If you want to just There's grab, a, grab, gonna... a, grab that Jack Daniel special release. Right there. Single barrel. The special release rye. See the right there. See that? Yes. Ugh. Yep. Grab a fresh glean. Cause I guess I just don't know what the oaky. Well, I mean, maybe saying. I don't know what the oak is. You know just as well as I know what you're tasting, right? But we just, all we have is our vocabulary to describe it. So this is the limited edition Jack Daniels 2020 rye. So this one is not twice barrel. It is just rye. Mm -hmm. Right? Give that one a try. We're at 1382. Jesus. Hit the like button for me if you would. I'd appreciate it. I have 521 likes. That's a lot. It's a ton of likes, but there are 1,300 people here. What are we, 14, I'm not seeing 14 yet, but y'all keep bringing them. Keep bringing them. Just, it's just a ride. Okay, yes. I, I, that, I'm sorry, that was a, that was a humble flex. It was, I did not intend it that way. I apologize. But I'm just trying to, this is, a, this is my favorite ride on the planet. Now, the Michter's Barrel Strength ride was my favorite ride until I discovered this one. And this one eked it out just a little bit in a blind. So... One of the best ryes ever made, in my opinion. This is delicious. This is out of this, this has, world. I mean, that's good. Yes. But this has so much more going on. The oak dominates this one. I that one is just so. rye spice and sweet vanilla. No, I mean, it dominates all the complexities. It's going to be a very similar whiskey. But what I want you to do is now try this one and taste the difference. Without, and all that kind of... Like water or no water? Yeah, up to you, babe. Professionals would do some water. Brian with his first super chat. Appreciate the support. Brian, first timer. You need to come to Ohio Single Barrel Day in 2024. Weller, CYPB, Red Green. So one, do I have to have a, a Ohio driver's license to participate? And two, it just fell this year on the Alabama lottery. And so I had to go to the Alabama lottery instead, unfortunately. What's the proof on the JD ride? This one right here is Whoa. 131 proof. Yeah, and it tastes. And good. this one right here yeah. is harder to see. Um, right there. 100. Yeah. That's 100 proof. Okay, 100 proof. It's delicious though, and I'm still not. I don't know. I'm not getting the oak. I'm glad I made it out of Memphis alone. You don't get oak on it. I just. Okay. I, I don't know. I'm not saying I don't get oak. I'm just saying. I guess I don't know what oak tastes like. Okay. To have that gotcha. as something that I say, you know, if I if I say it tastes like vanilla, I know what vanilla tastes like. If I, so, yeah. I and mean, the only thing for oak that I could imagine is being outside by a fire pit and like breathing that. Well, in. that's smoke, that's right? Smoke. That's a little different than the oak tannins. So I'm not sure what that okay. would taste like. So we just need to try some really oaky whiskey at some point yeah, and guess. let you taste what oak is. And I thought this might do it, right? No, because I don't really. I don't, unless I just really like oak, and I don't oh, that, know that, it. That's a delicious oak. But though. it's delicious. It's a sweet oak, which is really good. Corey yeah. might have to go to the Auburn undercover recruiting video that's also live, but all love and War Eagle. War Eagle. I'll have War to check Eagle. out the Auburn undercover video afterwards. <laughs> oak equals, I mean, it does equal wood, but, you know, it's not like smoke necessarily, yeah, right? I'm not getting it. Like, I don't know what it is. I'm I do have a peerless good. double oak, but this is oaky. Like, this has a ton of oak on it. Um, so we'll, we'll, we may try some things here in a little bit, but I want to keep moving with this Hewling station right here. 
and see if we can. Uh, this is their trolley stop series, nine year old Main Street line, supposedly a limited release from the Memphis area. Um, only place you can get these, from what I was told, by my guide. Um, by grab my me a guide. Glid. Bob, got a Mississippi Sippers Deadly Pick this week. Awesome. I haven't tried that one. Haven't got one of those yet. We need to share. Okay. Jeff recently enjoyed Knob Creek 12. Anything similar that you'd recommend? Uh, so you're on that Knob Creek train. Um, I mean, obviously, a Knob Creek 9, if you've never tried that, I would jump on like something like a Baker 7, maybe. Uh, you know, just kind of go down that whole Jim Beam expression. Uh, but a Baker 7 is going to be a good choice for you there. The Full Smoking Bar. Love the channel. Compare the twice barrel rye to the single barrel barrel proof rye. We may do that here in just a second. Uh, we've got one of those open over there as well. The bitterness taste is the oak flavor. But the funny thing is, is this one is not exactly bitter to me. So there's a oh, bitter oak. So like, yeah. like the Russell's, Russell's Reserve is a good example to me. Um, the older those get, or an Elijah Craig 18, that oak gets harsh and a little bitter. Um, so it's, it's like a dry oakiness to me. It like dries out the palate. It has a little bit of bitterness to it. This is just like a sweet oak. It's, it's kind of weird. Like I love sweet oak. I don't care much for dry oak. I mean, although I do like an Elijah Craig 18, it's just an occasional pour for me. I changed him from scotch to bourbon. Welcome to the light side. Well, maybe you can change him from bourbon to scotch. No. Not a scotch fan. We do have a video coming out where someone tries to convert me yeah. to scotch. So we try a bunch of scotches. So we'll see. Cheers, cool running. Oh, I forgot what I was drinking. So we should have drank this first. Mm. It's not fair to it that we are trying it after a Jack Dan two Jack Daniels special release rise. Yeah. We did it dirty. I didn't think about that. We did it dirty trying it after these two. Uh, but this is a really excellent pour. I'm going to pour you just a little more. It's really nice. We just kind of, you know, you, you went and watched Jordan's Bulls win the NBA championship, and then you just went and see a really nice high school team play. You know, like it's good. It's good basketball. It's fun to watch. A good cut. Like I'm not trying to call this high school. This is a good bottle. I'm just saying we went from exceptional, and we we did it wrong. Like you don't you don't just like warm up your palate with B tac and then try to evaluate a bourbon. What's different about a knob nine and twelve? Three years. Knob nine is about three years younger. Um, they do have some cash strength knob nines that are really good as well. I haven't had the Clover single barrel, I don't think. Mash bill on the plastic bottle on the far left, your left, or my left, or this, this right here. I think he's talking about this one. Uh oh. It's 100% H2. It's, uh, maybe it's that 2 looks like a H, 1% zero. Could be that one. But that their left would be that's over here. Uh, that's pretty good. That's a good yeah, bottle. That's, that's a good well. bottle. We just. There's, there's some. We did it dirty. There's some stuff going on there. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, it's good. I like it. I feel like I got a hair or something in my mouth. But you got that in Memphis? I did get this in Memphis. I like this. It almost um, gives me like a little bit of a red hot aftertaste. Okay. Yeah. I like yeah. red hot. Yeah. To me, so that that is a little of the oak tannins. You get a little bit of like vanilla to this, and then I get some of the, a little bit of spicy oak tannins on the finish, which can give you that kind of, you know, red hot. Mm -hmm. feel to it. Um, I like this. We're going to, we're, like they're on our list. So Hewling Station and Old Dominic, I think are, are the same company. They're made by the same folks. They're definitely on our list to reach out to, to try to do a barrel pick with next I keep year. seeing on TikTok, Old Raleigh. And I keep telling you about it, but we don't. Old do Raleigh? It. Old Raleigh. Well, you, what you sent me was Old, was Dominic the other day. Yes, but then I also have told you about Old Raleigh. Yes. I'm not sure. Haven't tried them. Had it? I haven't know, seen them. But. Uh, but this is from that same mm. Old Dominic, I believe it is. Mm. Okay. Um, the prices are getting ridiculous. Absolutely, Chris. Prices are nuts. And they're just going to keep getting nuts until we talk some people out of buying it. <laughs> um, 
Are you a fan of Penelope or 2XO? Yes, I like Cash Strength Penelope. And the one 2XO I got on the top was really good. A uh, good rye to start with, Michter's rye. Just their normal Michter's rye. If you're just getting into rye, it's, it's barely a rye. Barely a rye. Haven't had the RD1 rye. Zebulon, North Carolina, Jill. Oh, old Raleigh is? So they're not in Raleigh? <laughs> that seems like a miss. Uh, how does a Thomas Handy B-Tac compare to the Jack Double Barreled? I would say they're a much different um, expression, right? Like I would say the B-Tac would be more like the special release. And, uh, although I think it would, lo- it would definitely lose to this. Somebody brought last year's Thomas Handy Sazerac Rye. We tried this. We tried the Thomas Handy from last year. We tried the Mictors Barrel Strength Rye. And I picked this one. Um, over those three, and the, but the handy was like it was it was a tough contest, really. Well, it was a split decision amongst the three or four people that were trying them all for sure. We'll tr- the Coy Hill Rye. We don't have a Coy Hill right? I mean, we have a rye Jack Daniels Barrel Strength Rye, but it may have came from the Coy Hill Warehouse, but it's not a Coy Hill release rye. Mark Duffy says that the old Raleigh is good stuff. Good. We'll have to grab a bottle of it. Major Zero. I post hunt videos in Memphis every day. Did a Natalie's video today. Love talking to you Friday. Appreciate it, Zero. Had a good time. That was a good conversation. I jumped on a Zoom with some folks there um, late in the evening there at the uh, at the drop. Let's try these barrel picks, and then it's just going to devolve into some 500K style Shenanigans. Shenanigans. We'll try some different bottles and some different things. Somebody wanted us to try these versus a Jack Daniels Barrel Strength Rye. I'll do that here in just a little bit. So get me a fresh, couple of fresh Glen Cairns here, Jill. So mine is missing the hang tag. This one's supposed to have a hang tag. All the ones y'all get are supposed to have a freaking hang tag. The hang tags for Clyde Mays, these are new bottles. They've kind of changed up their look. They're very swanky, very fancy bottles. This hang tag says that this one was selected by Cal Naughton Jr. And this one is selected by Ricky Bobby, but my hang tag's missing. So <laughs> should have a Ricky Bobby and a Cal Naughton Jr. hang tag right there for these because we did these at Talladega. Talladega. Twice barreled versus Michter's barrel strength. i tell you what we'll do. Toward the end of the stream, we will do a rye blind, apparently, and put several <laughs> ryes in there. Everybody wants to see that. Watch it on YouTube, non-premium, no commercials tonight or last week. I don't know what's up into. I mean, we mentioned that a while ago, so I don't know if you're a little bit behind, but I appreciate the uh, comment. The bitter oak, I think you're talking about, could that be conflated with a kind of pickly thing? Not for me, but everybody's tastes are a little different, so you could be picking something up. Uh, shake and bake, yes. <laughs> Let's see how we're doing rise. Let's start with the rye. I think this is the rye. Straight that, rye straight whiskey. Straight rye. Now, this bottle is the fanciest of the bottles. Here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you all a little close-up here, probably closer than you want to be. Um, this one right here has USA on the back, and it's like indented. Y'all see that with the USA? And then it's got this really, really fancy label with the Cal Naughton Jr. selected by. And this one's still got a fancy label, but it's not quite as fancy of a bottle, but it does have... A back label. Should have a hang tag for Ricky Bobby as well. I will yell and scream until they send those hang tags if it does not. Let's see. I thought I missed up. Oh, no, I think it was just flashing for Jacob Super Chat there. I thought I missed one. So let's let's continue with the rise. Travis asks, does anyone in the chat drink whistle pig or is it trash? Um, I've had some whistle pig. I didn't think it was trash, but like I I'm just now starting to kind of get into rise. And so I need to go back to it, to be honest with you. I will, I will get more whistle pigs here in the future, for sure. And that's, so that's very, this is probably the most rye pick we've done so far. So we're going a little more rye, because what I've picked so far are like more like bourbon friendly ryes. So we're going to introduce you a little more to rye on this one. Have we had Frey Ranch Rye? I don't know. Um, Jason but it, says it's solid. So this one smells very rye on the nose. Like it is so like spruce and pine and rye, like really Christmas. Like it, this is just like a Christmas tree in a glass. 
And then on the palate, it backs that down a little bit. Like it's much sweeter, a little more approachable, not as rye as it is on the nose, but a really nice, like I'm trying to step, I'm trying to discover rye more and I'm trying to step a little more rye. And this is definitely a step more toward a proper rye whiskey than the picks we've done in the past. Have I had anything that's a proper rye? rye? Most of the ryes I've given you are bourbon. very like bourbon, like those Jack Daniels, very bourbon friendly ryes. You get oh, some wow. rye on it, but it's not like, this is a straight rye whiskey. So this guy, all the rye, 104 proof. So you get those Michter's Toasted Rye's earlier and had a chance today to get a Michter's Toasted Barrel Finish Sour Mash in a raffle. Um, so the Toasted Barrel Sour Mash, I think that's one of the bottles I don't have, Kevin, actually. Um, I think it would probably be delicious, but I don't think I have a Toasted Barrel Sour Mash. The full smoking bar, I could see three-way between Mictor's Barrel Strength, Single Barrel Barrel Proof Rye, and Twice Barreled Rye. We'll check it out here in just a little bit. Mike B, did you get the Goose Island 2023 Eagle Rare Stout? I did not. But I don't know if y'all noticed, if you've seen, but Jeff Gross reached out and hooked a fella up because back there, back there is, I think, I believe, every single Goose Island barrel aged stout that has been released from 2020 th or 2013 until now. Wow. Every one of them. And there's one special edition, like one of the, the variants. Um, and then I was able to get the Bardstown collaboration where they aged whiskey in those as well. So we're, we're trying to wait for the right thing. Wait till our beer, our beer will be in the barrel. The first four barrels will be in the barrel a full month later this week, I think the 15th or the 16th, so this weekend, uh, I'm waiting to, you know, we're still waiting to fill That's the other weekend. six. Is it next? The 15th is next Friday. It's like, today's the 11th. Is it? Yes. Oh. Where you been? Jill been in a time oh, machine. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, that's this How about Friday. a shout out, Adam? Searing and grilling. You're there right. you go. That means I got to Thanks go for hanging out. Montgomery, Appreciate the support. I mean, Birmingham on Friday. You got to go to Birmingham on Friday? Yep. Awesome. Jacob Graves, roll tide. He got me. Headed to Savannah. I'm like Ricky. I'm like uh, I'm like Ron Burgundy. I got to read what's on the telephone. I don't. <laughs> I, don't. I don't. I will not. Don't do it again. Headed to Savannah, Georgia this weekend. Going to do some hunting while working. Tried Detling Bottle and Bond this week. Tasty. Appreciate it, Jacob. Glen Cairn is what I use. Yes, we use a fresh Glen Cairn right here. I prefer the Glens. I do like the aged in ore glasses, though. I'm getting, like, sometimes when I'm just hanging out by myself, I'll use those in secret. I won't let anybody know. I'm, I'm a closeted aged in ore fan as well. <clears throat> uh, bourbon or not, we're one of the nicest people on YouTube. One of us is, what he's saying is, one Aww. of us is nice, one of us is not. We are mm. one of the nicest people. <laughs> That's me. Jill, on the other <laughs> hand, not quite as nice. <laughs> I've not had anything from Good Times. I had some recommendations. I need to try it, though. Take it easy, Oka de Gave. Clifferoo with the first super chat. Hey, TJ and Jill just want a Pappy 10 and a Rare Spirits Lottery. Any suggestions for making that first pour a special experience? Uh, Clifferoo, if you want to make any pour with any bottle of special experience, just share it with special people. So find some folks in your circle that know how special that bottle is that also would enjoy that pour and enjoy it with them. All it really boils down to. Second ad. I, see, the thing is, I just don't think I could turn the freaking ads off yeah. once I get it going. Like, I just don't think I can. So, sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I'll try. I'll try. But I'm sorry. Kyle said... Got to go to John Emerald this Saturday for the two-year tasting. Yeah, I need to hit Jimmy and see if I can't get an invite to that. Um, I'm not. I didn't buy in on that barrel, but I want to go try it. I might film a short. <laughs> uh, single malt. I have not tried the Jack Daniel single malt. No, not my jam. Don't see it much here in Savannah, St. Francis says. What is it? That is very spicy. It, it is very rye spicy, but what do you think about it? I think it's good. I think this is a yep. good step toward rise for folks. I'm, I'm getting a lot of molasses. Okay. Do you get that? Or is that just me? Like I'm getting like... Yeah, I see where you get that. I see where you can get that. I, I mean, I really, I really like that note in it. 
Well, I mean, I, yeah, I, I I call that just kind of oak and vanilla, but like molasses is just like a sweet oakiness. Okay. Um, any hunting in Fresno? Probably not anytime soon. I got the last Goose Island at a liquor store a couple of weeks ago. It's backyard stout. Nice. Um, you can pass on a good bottle, but you can never pass on a good store, a good story, I guess. Um, store. You can pass on you can't pass on a good store either. Alex with the 999 super chat. Can't believe he made you say those awful uh, words. No. War Eagle. I know. War Eagle. I try to give it to him. War man, Eagle, Alex. man supporting the channel. I try to give it. I'm sorry. You can give so much. Jill turns the ads on. That's what Brad said. Uh, That's it. <laughs> is it my She's fault? like, I got to afford okay. those Disney right. tickets. I'll leave. <laughs> I'll leave and the ads will go away. Uh, so, and, I'm, and I apologize if I mispronounce your name. Uh, I'm going to go with Nubar. Uh, we're working on some stuff in that, in that vein. We are working on some stuff for next year. We're trying to take the content up about 10 degrees. We're going to run some... We're gonna, it's going to take us a little bit of time, but we're having some conversations with some distilleries about doing a little more documentary-style content. So it's going to be fun. I hope it works out. Um, I, I think, you know, some of the things we're planning, people are not going to expect from this channel because we, you know, we keep it kind of easy, kind of casual, kind of, um, you know, more POV style, you know, not, not too well edited, but not too produced. But I think we're capable of a lot more. We have those talents. We just need to spend a little more time on it. I Texas like this. Ranger Nine's making me very jealous right now. What did they say? Just got back to the hotel room from Epcot tonight. Dang. Oh, I actually watched my one of my favorite Disney YouTubers. Well, and you know, here's the thing. If you were at if you were at Disney. I was watching Disney today. I wasn't I, there, but I was there by watching. I, I would also be jealous that I wasn't in the room. You know, I'd be like, we yeah, the room is where you want to be when you're at Epcot. No, no, no. All right. So for those that are interested in rye, if you like rye, I think you're going to like this. Yeah. It is a straight rye whiskey. It is all the rye, right? This is not a bourbon-esque rye, but I don't think it's too far. So like a, um, a Sazerac rye or something like that, just way too much rye. I think this one still has enough of that it's like really sweet good. molasses yeah. that you would like. Um, so I think that's a really good introduction to a proper straight rye whiskey. Biggs just picked up Ben Holiday Soft oh, Red Wheat Rickhouse oh. Proof. Have you opened it, Biggs? What do you think about it? The labels are beautiful. Like They're I really, really like the new yeah. Clyde Maze. This I I wish they would just do this bottle on all of them. Like this bottle is freaking incredible. Freaking incredible. Let's give this bourbon a try. Prohibition 120 proof. I reached out to all nations on Instagram. They didn't reply. So I, I've got somebody reaching out to them to see if we can't do a barrel pick with them next year. I don't know if they have a barrel pick program. Don't know anything about it. But looking for a new bottle, that orange seagrass. Uh, it, I'm not talking about the, uh, like the, not the orange seagrass, the orange private blend barrels. Um, I've had five of those, and out of the five, I've really loved four of them. Uh, one of them had a lot of George Dickel. So I would look, if it has a lot of Tennessee whiskey, I might pass on it because they put what's on it in the label. Um, but outside of the one that had a lot of George Dickel in it, I've loved every one of them. <laughs> now this guy here is Clyde May Single Barrel, five-year-old straight bourbon whiskey, 105 proof, as selected by Ricky Bobby. Ricky Bobby. Howlerhead Banana. Yes, I've tried it. And no, I don't want any. <laughs> Do you like peated whiskeys? No, absolutely not. Double Eagle Rare for 2K. Jeff, if you get it for 2K, you could just sling it to me for three, and then you could come over to my house and we'll drink it. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going to get three, but I'll, come up, I'll sell a kidney or something. Come on over. We will drink it. Appreciate it, Mike. Widow Jane 10 and Woodenville Private Select. Widow Jane 10 can be hit or miss. If you like, again, a lot of George Dickel in that one. If you like that Dickel profile, you're going to love it. Some of their blends are really good. You can barely taste the George Dickel. Uh, I don't know about that Woodville Private Select. just depends on how good they did on the barrel pick. Michigan travel. We just did the pick in Michigan, so I probably won't be back till the end of the year, end of next year. Timothy Allen said hello from Dothan. Just grabbed the Crittenton's Bottled and Bond. 
Uh, Jeff, that is very much a yes. Absolutely. Um, it is, yeah. Buy it for 2K? Absolutely. All day long. I mean, because you, to be honest with you, you could probably sell it. If you bought it at a liquor store for 2K, you'd probably sell it in a parking lot for 9 or 10, to be honest with you. Like, that's that's what they go for. I've seen people pay that for them. I won't pay that for one because that's just, like, I can't have whiskey I can't drink. And honestly, at 3K, I would have to film a video and try to make that video make hundreds of thousands of views to pay for that to make it worth it, but it would be worth it for the spectacle. Um, I would be very, very tempted. I would not. I wouldn't do it. I promise you I wouldn't, but I would be very tempted to see if it would run my lawnmower. Oh, my goodness. Be very te- I couldn't do I could not bring myself to do it, but I would be very tempted to do that. I, you know, if you, some of y'all probably share this, but if you're, like, on top of a really tall building or you're up on a high balcony, you just have like this compulsion to jump, you're just like, that would be fun. No, probably a bad idea. Shouldn't do that. I'm just going to get away from this ledge. That's kind of the compulsion I have with pouring very expensive bottles in lawnmowers. You're so crazy. Well, Scott, I'm new to this. Tried Mictors Ryan. Loved it. What's my next level up? So he liked the Mictors Ryan. First of all, this right here is going to take you way on down that rye path a little bit. So that might be a little too far. I would say Jack Daniels Barrel Strength Rye. We were trying those, not the limited release, just a good old Jack Daniels barrel strength rye. There's a bonded rye that's pretty good. It's not as good to me as the barrel strength ryes. Um, who that else has barrel? an old Forrester rye? Um, the bonded rye. Uh, but yeah, the, the, uh, there's a, the little square bottles like this, there's a barrel proof rye. It's probably behind the Coy Hill, or the, there's a single barrel rye right there. That's not a barrel proof though. Mm. That's just a single barrel. 35K on medical research, Jedi Knight says. What do I need them for? I don't need them. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you what he was sell- telling me to I say. Saw. Watching I saw from it. Southern California. Love the amazing content. Can't wait to see you try EH Barrel Proof. It's in my top five favorites. We will give that one a try. Like, I'm not going to open that bottle because I do have one open already. That was That's my backup bottle now. But we will try it when that video comes out, which hopefully in a week or two. And this, uh, this single barrel is really good. Like I get, all the Clyde May stuff gives me just a little bit of apple. This one is a little more caramel um, citrus than I recall it giving me when we were trying it at the track. But I really like, I think I like this one better in the bottle than I did at the track. Texas Ranger says, I should take you for a New York strip and an old fashioned at La Stelle Art in Epcot. We should do that. We've never been there. Take me, I've never been to Epcot, but if we've you, never been to that restaurant. If you pay and I'm going. No, I, I need, should take you. Oh, you should, I, used, I thought he should take me. No, I should I thought he you. was going to take me. Now I'm disappointed. I thought he was going to take You don't want me to take you? Well, then that's just my money. Well. Comes out of the same bank account when you swipe those cards. Deal. Thoughts on Elijah Craig Toasted Barrel. Honestly, probably one of my favorite Elijah Craig's. really good. That's probably my favorite Elijah Craig is the Elijah Craig Toasted Barrel. Now, you got to like Toasted Barrel, so... Um, but like the 18 is too oak, like the 18's just too like harsh oak. Um, I, I enjoy it, but it's occasional. The barrel strength's just, whatever it is about Elijah Craig that I just don't love, the toast just kind of masks that. Any update on the Ben Holiday pick? Dude, I had no reply to my last two emails. I'm trying to not be that guy that just pesters them, but haven't heard a word in a few weeks on that one. So hope it, hope it's coming. But it looks like it's going to be January at the earliest. Matt McCormick in the chat, man. Last night we busted out the 13 and 15 year Clyde Mays. This man's drinking the good stuff. <laughs> we all agreed the 13 was better, and I believe you did too. The third, the old Clyde Mays, like the old stuff, which you can't get as barrel picks. The 11, the 13, the 15, all have been really, really good, really good pours. Um. Favorite Elijah Craig barrel? I'm just not a huge fan of the barrel proofs. I did get to try the C923 this weekend. That's probably my favorite so far. Either that or the, I think I've got one from 2017 back there. That probably gives it a run for its money. Favorite toasted barrel on a teacher's budget? Uh, It depends on where you're at, Chad. Uh, Maybe try to find a um, short barrel 101 toasted. If you're in Georgia, if you're in the southeast Florida, um, you could probably find a short barrel 101 toasted. You might could find one online. So we did the short barrel toasted 
barrel pick, but obviously those got gone really quick. We do have, we've talked to them. They're, they're going to get us some more of those coming, but um, that would be a good one that I think would be affordable. How does the Clyde Mays rye compare to the E.H. Taylor straight rye? I don't know if that's a fair comparison, Alan. <laughs> um, let's try it. I'm going to give it a try. Well, by the way, that's good. The, it, oh, the, this one? It, yeah. I would say it tastes like it drinks more proof than it actually is. Like, Okay, you think it drinks a little higher, higher proof? A little higher, not like a ton, but a little bit. Because I thought it was more than 105. It does have a little more, a little, bit, yeah. little more, like the flavors very are a little cherry, more intense. Very cherry to me. Like okay. Like, my, my palate's a little bit off, off today with the nasally problems from the sickness. I mean, I'm kind of over the sickness for the most part, but still having a few issues. Let's try this Taylor straight rye back here. But like this is, again, not a, not a fair fight. We're, we, are, we are just putting Mike Tyson up against all sorts of, uh, mm -hmm. all sorts of folks tonight, right? Grab me a fresh <laughs> Glen, and then I'll grab the, um, what was it somebody wanted? The Lucky Seven? I'll try the Lucky Seven <laughs> while I'm at it. So keep them entertained, Jill. Chris Vega said using nasal strips. Ha ha, opens the nostrils. <laughs> That's some of Will's nonsense. <laughs> like, the boy is, I, it's like the video, I did the video with the barrel, right? Where we, we, I swore we put whiskey in that barrel, and then we come out here to try it, and there's no whiskey left. It's all gone. So then I, I know I put whiskey in it then. I don't know what happened to it. There's none leaked on the counter. I don't know what happened to the whiskey. So then I go put more whiskey in it. I, I soaked it in water to make sure it was sealed. And then I thought we put more whiskey in it. Apparently we missed a step and didn't put the whiskey in it. And so I come out here and it just water comes out. Although I filled it up with water and there was only this much water in the bottom. I have no idea where that water went. But I was like, oh, this video's garbage. Like don't, I just like don't post this one. Well, they edited out the don't post it and then they posted it. Yeah. And of course it's, <laughs> It's getting like tons of views right now. Mm -hmm. We're getting like half a million views a day on frothing my dickle. Samuel B says, I know you aren't a fan of Irish whiskey, but for someone who loves Jameson, what would be a good whiskey bourbon for me to venture out into? Uh, try a Chattanooga or a Detling, um, something like that. Like those are high malt. Now, it's a little yeah, different to have a high malt bourbon versus a, um, a proper scotch, but I would probably try something like that. Like, try some high malt whiskeys, high malt bourbons. Um, I may need a freaking flashlight to find <laughs> this bottle. I don't know where it got moved to. See, I've, I've started organizing back there, and I can't uh -oh, figure out where things are. Find nothing. Well, I haven't finished organizing yet. What was your first bourbon, and is it still on your shelf today? Uh, the first, very first bourbon, Oof. I don't know. Um, it's probably going to be something like a Wild Turkey 101. It would have to be something like that because I wasn't buying anything terribly expensive. I do know that like when I first started really trying to drink bourbons, a lot of the rare stuff was a little more available and the Alabama drops were exploitable by somebody like myself that was um, self-employed. So very early, I was able to get an, uh, a um, Weller Antique, a Rock Hill Farm, stuff like that. So I had some really nice bottles fairly early on. I do have this Lucky 7 six-year-old proprietor right here. We will try in just a second. Um, E.H. Taylor Rye versus J-Rock's Fault. <laughs> we can't, listen, I can't blind all the ryes, okay? I'm, I'm on diet. I lost five pounds this week. I'm doing pretty good. I'm trying to, I would like to stay alive for a little while longer, so we're working on that. Um, and so I'm not eating as heavy as I normally do, and I'm trying not to just get lit. But, um, so I will allow y'all to pick three that we are going to blind knowing that my palate is a little off, a little off. So we've got the Clyde Mays, we've got this, we've got Jack Daniels Rise, we do have J-Rock's Fault. Y'all let me know in the chat, give me three. And I got a ton of, ton of freaking stuff. Ah, uh, never seen me with the Widow Jane. I've got the Widow Jane stuff. We're out of Dr. Peppers. We have oh, no I threw, I threw away, Pepper. Nicholas, I threw away the half drink Dr. Pepper. I did throw it away. Ah, uh, can't find the old video. What was the green 13th? That I, oh, that was the um, that was the 
2021 um, Sour Mash, wasn't it? It was the 2021 Sour Mash that you should mm. be looking for. Clyde, Clyde, and Clyde. Short Barrel, J-Rock Rye. Appreciate it there. Um, ick, ick, icky, Icky Cleric. Hmm. Thomas Handy Rye. Whew, gonna go for the TJ Gamble's a badass name. We should brand we should, it. That's a, I should make that. That's what we should call our bourbon. <laughs> <coughs> mm, apologize for coughing into the microphone, but that happens sometimes. Amic with the 999 Super Chat. Appreciate the support. Uh, what's the bottom top shelf corner? What's the bottle? This Not side? The bottom. The uh, bottle. Yeah, the bottle. Top shelf corner. Yeah, you said This bottom. corner or that corner? Oh, over there. He's talking about that freaking um, Derringer bottle over there. It's the Derringer. That one? Yeah, we got 22 million views on breaking that court. It's such a pretty E.H. Model. Taylor Rye, Clyde Mays Rye, Jack Rye. I don't have a Russell's Rye. I don't think I have a Wilderness Trail Rye. I might have a Sagamore, but I'd have to dig for it. 13th Colony Rye. Short Bear Rye. Y'all are all over the place. I have most of these. Y'all are all over the place. It's good. Appreciate it. Barrel Strength Rye. See, my palate's off, and I'm not going to pick the barrel strength, Ryan. Then it's going to make me look like a fool. That's what they're going to do. All right. All right. That, that'll be fun, though. That'll be fun. All right, Jill. Give me four glands. New Bar wants you to please do a collaboration with SLB Drinks. Uh, I'll hit them up. We'll see. Uh, you know, got to wait till I'm up there, do something. It'll be fun. Um, what do you I'm, need? Four, give me col the, the colored. There's only three colors. Yeah, just take one of those and rinse them out. Just hit, hit the little... Rinser over there be fine. Make me get out of my seat again. I mean, you can either get out of your seat and rinse it, or you can get out of your seat so I can get by you to rinse it. Your call. Don't That's care. even worse. Which one? Whichever one. What is your favorite? Double oaked? I'm injured. I mean, this has got to be a contender, this um, Jack Daniels special release double oaked rye. It's, it's probably it. Outside of that one, just Woodford. Just Woodford. Like it. Well, the 13th county, but I don't have a bottle of that to properly give it a try. That was a so, lot of water. <laughs> SLB is groovy. Okay. I like SLB. I watched them just the other day. Yesterday, I was watching them. Please, please yes. rinse my. Yes. Sorry about that. Yes. You're right. That's how You're you right. talk to your injured wife. You say, please. You do. Please fix me a sandwich. A sandwich. I'd have to walk up the stairs, and I don't want to do Okay. That. All right. So these two. Um, Am I pouring these? We can put the 13. We're yeah, blinding I'm blinding them. You you get to pour them. Unless you want to blind them, then I'll pour them. No. Uh, let's see. That 13th colony rye should be back here somewhere. Yep. 13th colony rye right here. Now, my palate's a bit of a mess, but I'm just telling you. That's such a cute bottle. 13th colony rye. And then... Um, Mictor's Barrel Strength Rye right there. That's what we're going for. Y'all happy? I know it's not what all of y'all wanted because all y'all were picking random stuff, but are y'all satisfied? Are you not entertained? <laughs> all right, so I'm going to step over here. I'm just going to go into the closet and you go for it. I'm going to see what I find back here. Okay. Let's see. What are we looking for? Oh, I need my phone so I can take a picture again. Here's an old Ezra 7 Rye back here. Got one of those. I think, are you talking to them? I tried that. I'm just talking to you. Okay, they well, can I just don't want to be like them, talking though. over you. What'd you say? I didn't want to be talking over you. Ah, it's okay. Oh, we do have a Frey Ranch Rye back here. Do we have a Frey Ranch Rye? Yes, we do. Interesting. I also lied about not having a Russell's Reserve Rye. Found that. Shit, there's a whistle pig back. Sorry. Sorry for the language. <laughs> There's a six-year-old whistle pig piggyback back. Here. Come out of the closet. Got a Frey Ranch rye. Don't come out of the closet yet. Got a written house. Got a castle and key rye. Whoa. We just got a whole bunch of ryes. So that's what you get for organizing. See, I put a lot of my ryes here together. Not all of them. I know. Y'all tell him about his language. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Try to keep it family friendly. I apologize for anybody that was surprised you know, and disdained by that. We have families that watch oh, yeah. this show, Thomas. It's a whole nother whistle pig, unopened. There's a single barrel, right. 10 year old whistle pig rye back here that's never been opened. 
I love watching What kind tonight. of a bourbon reviewer am I? But she doesn't want her Papa T using that language. I thought I was alone. I forgot that y'all can hear me. This is how I talk to myself. Okie dokie. You done? Yepers. Now I'm in trouble. You in trouble. I'm in trouble. There was a piggyback back there, yes. There is there is a piggyback. We got two whistle pigs back there, one of them not even opened. I may have to try them here in a minute. Uh -uh. You think it's minty? Huh? Jim made some heavy. That one's light. That one's heavy. You don't have to drink it all. That one's heavy. I can't. I can't drink it all. <laughs> Old Ezra 7, but it's minty. Didn't know how to type a message on the first Super <laughs> Chat. Well, I appreciate you going hard then. But I just started watching first stream. You got me into whiskey. Love your stuff. Appreciate awesome. it there. Um, well, thanks for being here. What's my favorite 13th Colonies? Our barrel pick, of course. Of uh, course. The double oak. But I, again, I just have, don't have a bottle. So out of the ones I have, I do have a cash strength barrel pick back there from one of the stores in Georgia. It is not mine. It is on loan. Um, but it's really good. I like the cash strength. Brusel versus ADHD. Who wins? It depends on what we're doing. Are we tasting whiskey? Are we Indian leg wrestling? Like, I don't, I don't know the context, <laughs> man. You know? The Gladiator. That's got so much in it, I couldn't even swirl it without it splashing out. <laughs> Sorry. See, my, my nose is a little, little stuffy. Like, it's just my... My palate is okay, but like so much of what you taste is your nose. I think that might be, I don't know. <laughs> I'm picking up some. What's the best bourbon for the sickness? <laughs> don't know. Mm, don't know. Like that one's interesting, but again, I, I'm thinking that's the 13th Colonies because it's been a while since I've had that one. You say I haven't drank a ton of it. Um, oh, so this one is the Clyde Maze. You, have you got them in order over there from where you poured no. them? No. I'm not that crazy. I just took a picture of them. So I know when I go back to look at them, what is what. Now, what am I in the mood for? That's the thing with rise. Like with bourbons, I just kind of know what I want. With rise, it's what am I in the mood for, right? We're sorry about the ads. But on the flip side, I made 37 cents off of those ads. <laughs> so that was good, I guess. We make the world a better place, Austin says. Appreciate Aww, it, Austin. Thank you, Austin. That's a nice thing to say. Thank you very much. We'll turn them off next time, Bill. We will turn them off. I, I promise. I just need to remember, like, we were very last minute getting the stream today, and so we just used settings from the last one, and apparently the last two streams of YouTube has changed something. Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize it. Top three bottles I wished I had. King of Kentucky would be one of those. Um, Pappy 20 and 23, but I'll consider those one bottle. Just would like to have those to share with folks and show them that they're not as good as the 15 most of the time. Um, outside of that, I mean, obviously the limited Buffalo Trace stuff, the double eagles and things like that, but if you're talking about something more. Okay, well, that's interesting. Because these smell very similar. Because I was certain that was the Clyde Maze, but it could be this. I like Texas Rangers idea. Are you guys going to get a map and color in the states you have hunted in? We should do that. We should do. I've been trying to figure out some way of doing that. There's like a, there's something you can buy like, and you can scratch it off. Okay. As you visit each state. So traditionally with rye, I would pick the one that is the least rye. Mm -hmm. Like traditionally, I would just say, which one is not very rye forward? And so tonight I'm trying to figure out, like, what am I in the mood for? The OnlyFans ads? 
Well, you know, I, I am selling feet picks, man. I've been trying to not cut my toenails for a couple months. Oh so the feet picks are very I spicy. I apparently don't know what OnlyFans is. So OnlyFans is where you basically charge a subscription for access. And it's access to usually uh, media of some sorts, videos, photos. There are a lot of adult entertainers that um, use uh, this as a way to generate revenue. Right, but gotcha. sometimes you could just sell feet pics. Oh, it doesn't okay. have to be adult-oriented, but that's typically the connotation when somebody's joking about it. Okay, gotcha. I had yeah. no clue. I was so far behind on that one. I keep <laughs> seeing people mention it, and I was like, okay. I have no clue what this is. Is Patreon only it's, more it's, juicy? Yeah, kind of. Yeah, okay. I don't think Patreon allows adult content. I could be wrong mm -hmm. about that. I don't think they allow adult content. Um, so I think it's like patron, but adult content with more like adult-oriented features from what I hear. Gotcha. I don't have an account. If they, all the accounts are leaked, my name's not on it. <laughs> Ah, uh, Sorry Hungry has three ex-girlfriends on OnlyFans, which shows the type of people he's dating. If you'd stay out of the clubs, you know, quit dating dancers. Never been to Culver's, but got the ad. Well, that's why, Bob, you got the ad for Culver's, because they want you to come to Culver's. Mm -hmm. They want you to eat some If you were going bangers. to Culver's all the time, they wouldn't have to advertise to you. That's sad. <laughs> Even Taylor Swift loves our Discord. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. I wish. So that one is less rye forward. Again, my nose is just a little off. This one smells all right. That's good. It's, it's a lot of rye. The flavor is rye and sweet. So it's a really, really sweet, but very, very forward rye. Melissa Rivers loves my facial expression when you talked about your untrimmed toenails. Yeah. Is this yep. like like I know that's what I was like. Joan is this Rivers John Rivers' daughter, Melissa Rivers, or you know? So but. Whatever, we've, got to, we've got to figure out what kind of clout we got. <laughs> Are you Joan Rivers' daughter, <laughs> Melissa, or did you just happen to have her daughter's name? Jill's also? Jill's face was just an indication of the fact that I really haven't been clipping my toenails too much lately. He probably yeah, he probably hasn't. <laughs> got a Weller foolproof at a store drop for fifty four dollars. That is a score. says, me and my fiance love your channel. Just went to our first allocated drop at Virginia ABC. Picked up a Russell single barrel, 110 proof. Thanks for the good content. All right, well, so thank we, you, Kyle. So we've got two tiers here. Now, the problem is, is if I, I should just make the barrel pick win because I really need to sell these barrel picks, if I'm just being honest with you. But it's not going to win because... This is a journey more into a straight rye whiskey, which is what I wanted when I did the pick, which is what I want y'all to be able to experience, right? Like we've done some ryes, but we did a finished rye. We did a bourbon friendly rye. This one takes a step more into ryeness. And I, I you know, that's, that's interesting to me. The barrel pick is one of these two back here. I got to go back and forth. I think the 13th Colonies is going to be one of these as well. And I think we've got the... E.H. Taylor and the Mictor's barrel strength out there. But I'm not sure my palate today with being a little sick is sophisticated enough to tell which one's which, but we're going to try. We're going to try. I'm just making an excuse before I get to it. <laughs> okay? Just in case. Just in case. Melissa is not Joan's daughter. She just married a Rivers. Well, we're still glad to have you. Yes, thank you for coming and having a famous name. Just you could have just said yes, and we would have. I mean, honestly, I'd probably rather have you here than that Melissa Rivers anyway. But at least we would have felt good that we had a celebrity in the chat for a little while. Favorite Maker's Mark product, I, dude. It, I mean, it's got to be the seller age. If you just don't buy. But like Color that's age. unobtainium. Outside of that, the BEP stuff I thought I really liked. I really liked that. I can't remember if it was one or two I liked the most though. All right, so this They're one. killing me tonight with these, um, like the Discord thing. Oh, the Discord. Smokey's it like a good neighbor. <laughs> Discord. Discord is there. <laughs> 
They're getting creative with it. They're awesome tonight. Loving it. So. Oh. Oh. I told you that Joel got all your bourbon beer aids. He got all of them? Well, no, he didn't get all of them. He got what they had. So we got some bourbon uh, barrel aged beer from Boulevard. from Boulevard coming. In Kansas So looking forward City. to that here in a week or two. An ex international top five K in the world? That that's very like that's more than I've ever done, Jedi. You know? What now? Oh. Ex international athlete, top five K in the world. Well, in hey, something. Yes, that's a celeb. I don't know what the sport the sport may have been like. I I don't know. <laughs> what was it? Was it curling? Were you in the top five K hey, in curling? It's still Well, there's not five K people doing curling. So if you're top five K in curling you could just be me. Like, honestly, I'd probably go be curling. I'd be like 4,757th in curling because I would be the last person doing curling. What do I think about cannabis whiskey? That just doesn't sound like two things that go well together. I don't know. I don't know anything about it. Like, I, I would be willing to try it, but it just doesn't sound like it's going to be great. Oh. Appreciate it, Chris. We got the bourbon barrel quad. Okay. We got whiskey barrel stout. All right. We got rye on rye. Okay. And then we got Rested Reserve Double Barrel Aged Weeded Imperial Stout. That sounds awesome. And then we got Barrel Aged Wheat Wine Style Ale. So y'all let me know in the chat right now. We got 1,137 people. Right there, Plex says, we need another barrel bourbon pick ASAP. They have reached out. They said, hey, whenever mm -hmm. you want to do another one, let me know. It was wonderful. We loved our pick. Loved it. Love it still. I, I drink that. Yeah. Like, I'm on my third bottle of that since we bought it earlier this year. Um, if we bought another barrel private blend, would y'all be down? And we might could do a bigger yield. They might could do a bigger yield for us to make sure everybody. But it's it's it was an expensive bottle. So, yeah. it would probably be $110 for the bottle. I think that's what it was and then $18 to ship it. So you're gonna be like $130 shipped to you, but I gotta make sure y'all would want that, right? Four grain short barrel? I don't I don't even have a four grain short barrel. Mm. Uh, grew up in Opelika before becoming almost famous, Melissa River says. Ah. Unobtainium is Eagle Rare 25. Yes, that is, whew, what is that, $10,000 MSRP? Well, Down. <laughs> We didn't grow up in Opelika, but we've been here forever. So oh. I guess we're kind of, we're Opelikians. Dawson's just. third in the world in international wet water, uh, underwater basket weaving, sorry. Oh, yeah. cool. Okay, I need to rank these. Um, so this, we put this up against some heavy hitters, yeah. right? So whatever <laughs> comes in last here is not a bad ride. At all. There's no bad rye on this table. So these are all good ryes. Now, two of them are much more rye. This one is rye with a sweetness. And I, I'm just afraid that I'm going to pick my own barrel pick last here. <laughs> it will. That's the one I think is our rye barrel pick. But one of these, I think that's our barrel pick rye. I think this one is the 13th Colonies Rye, which I'm I'm putting in last, but I I might have those backwards because they're very similar. They are really, really similar. Um, this one has a little more like oaky sweetness on it. This one, the rye carries forward a little more. So it's a little more rye on this one than I get on this guy here. And, and I tend to be more, if I'm just ranking them, I tend to be the closer to bourbon it is, which is not fair to a rye. If you're the opposite and you just love ryes, you're gonna rank these exactly the opposite of what I'm doing here. Um, 10K MSRP, yeah, that's nuts. For what? Uh, the Eagle Rare 25 year old. Oh, wow. JD Bonded Rye, you like? Yeah, I, I didn't love the Bonded Rye. I like the Barrel Strength Rye. The Bonded Rye was good. It just wasn't as good. Oh, 
Lord. It's like. <laughs> okay, so I will admit my palate's a little off. Like everything's a little more muted. The flavors are not as intense today with my nasal congestion as they would normally be, but it's not completely off. Um, I would say that is the Mictor's Barrel Strength Rye. That is my number one. This is number two. It is the E.H. Taylor Rye. That is number three, and that is the Clyde Mays, and this is number four with the 13th Colonies. No. No? Did I get these two backwards? Yes. Those two are right? Yes. Yeah. I thought I might have these so two backwards. So that one is the Mictor's. That one is the E.H. Taylor. This one is our Clyde Mays, and this one yeah. is 13th Colonies. So this one is much more, this is the most rye forward right, one. Right, yeah. And you did say that. Like, it is It is very rye, uh, which I like. Like, I like it, but when I'm judging them, I'm going toward the most bourbon-friendly. And this is very bourbon-friendly. This is very bourbon-friendly. Both of these are very rye. Um, these, and these were really close, and honestly, these were surprisingly close. Although I know I like that. That's one of my top five ryes for sure. So it's not that surprising. But the proof difference on those makes it surprisingly close. These are very rye, those are very bourbon friendly. Mm. So I'm always gonna put those forward. Nick says, do we have to wait four years for the next forgotten four grain? <laughs> I hope not, but maybe, honestly, um, I called him on Friday to try to find out if he's got any more four grains. Like, I wanna know, do you have any more in there and how old are they? Um, because if you've got another four grain, I, I don't care, like if you've got 10 four grains, I want them all. We will just hold them and release them over time. Um, now that's a, that's a very high rye bourbon, I believe. I forget the exact mash bill on it, but it's got a ton of rye spice to it. Here, try that one. Try that one. Um, and I, I love it. Like I love everything about it. So where's the wine tonight? We've got some wine over here, but I can't break it out. We're not breaking out the wine. So if you love a rye, so the, the Clyde Bay's rye is really good, uh, but it is very rye. The bourbon is exceptional. Like this is a fantastic bottle of bourbon. Five year old single barrel straight bourbon whiskey. Uh, I think y'all are gonna really enjoy both of those. But if you're not into rice, that one, you know, I need to sell them, but at the same time, I don't wanna talk you into something you're not gonna like. That is not a single barrel E.H. Taylor rye. That is just the E.H. Taylor straight rye. Is it too spicy? So it's not too spicy, but it's, so, you know, spicy is an interesting term. Um, spicy could be peppery, mm -hmm. right? But like spicy is going to be, to me, the best way to explain it is almost like, like a pine needle, right? Like that kind of Christmassy um, spruce flavoring. Um, it's a terrible way, because who eats a pine tree, right? No, Am I the, I'm the only one that's ever ate a pine tree. You know, when you were, when you were like 10 years old, you went outside, you snuck a cigarette, and you afraid your grandmother was going to, you know, smell it on your breath, so you ate a few pine needles. I never did that. You know, chewed some pine needles real quick, get off your breath, not realizing she'd been smoking two packs a day her whole life. She couldn't smell anything if her life depended on it, <laughs> right? But like, you had to make sure. So, okay. it's hard to explain because nobody else has that experience, Yeah, I'm not apparently. sure about that. Alan Kelly's buying the Clyde Mays Rye. Appreciate the blind. Appreciate it, Alan. The short barrel products, Dusty. We got, like I said, we got some more toasted coming. Uh, I'm going to ask them. I'm going to beg them. I'm going to beg them. I haven't asked them yet. I have not reached out, but a lot of y'all in Discord have been pinging me in the chat. So after this live stream, I'm going to be over on Discord for the supporter-only voice chat. I think some folks in there have asked, a lot of folks want a bee's knees, which is their honey finished. Um, I think I'm going to ask for one. I'm going to ask. I don't know if they'll give it to us. I don't know if they have any. A lot of y'all want it. So just me. That's where it's at. Carlos, I have all, like, I'm from the country. We did weird things. <laughs> Spicy, because, so it's not a lingering aftertaste per se. Um, I mean, a little bit, but it's just, you just have to drink a rye whiskey to understand what I'm talking about. Like a full out rye whiskey. What's the best top shelf rum? Like, I don't know a whole lot about rum, but if I went into a store and I just wanted a good rum that's almost everywhere, 
Diplomatico. The teenage trick in the UK was smoking menthol because we thought it <laughs> hid the smell. <laughs> it did hide the smell because it killed your ability to smell. TJ's knees, we'll call it Jill's wobbly knees. Mm. It's not your knees that are giving you. It's box not truck. They're selling the box truck, Greg. The box, so apparently they're not doing the toasteds in the box truck. I just saw on Facebook the box truck is for sale. Just tell Clinton to get, I'm going to text him. Not tonight. It's a little late. Like, it's like 1030 in Georgia. I don't know how long they stay up. I'll hit them up. We'll see. Appleton Estates, Mount Gay is good rum. Haven't tried those. Screwball eggnog whiskey, I have not tried that yet. So, TJ's knees is the only fans account. Oh, my God. <laughs> I got a few scars <laughs> on them knees. Uh, coming to Chicago, it, it'll be like probably not mid next year, but well on into the year before I make it to Chicago. But definitely making a trip to Chicago. I've been saving that one for something special. We'll see if that special thing happens. Tim with the super chat. Happy holidays. Just joined tonight, but missed the update on holiday if you had one. Hopefully the holiday will be our Christmas present. Well, Tim, I got some good news and some bad news. Um, really? No, I take that back. I was trying to soften the blue. It's just all bad news. Uh, I have no update on the holiday pick. I've emailed three times now with no real update on where that pick stands. Can you so just call? It, I don't think I could just call them, but okay. I'll, I'll see. I don't think I have their number, but I'll see if I can get their number. I might have their number. I will dig for their number. Jill's getting to the point. She's like, quit <laughs> dilly-dallying around with them. these freaking emails, man. <laughs> just I'm trying call to, them. Like, I'm trying to not be that guy. I'm trying to not be like, where's my barrel? Um, so... I will be that guy later in the week, and I will get an update. Like, I will try to have an update for next Monday's stream. Tomorrow, we drop the Clyde Mays. Our expectation is that next Tuesday, the 13th Colony drops. But I don't have an update on when the holidays are coming. Been drinking Stoliknaya all night. Wondering what your favorite what? vodkas are. Oh, that's a vodka. Don't worry about a silly username. Um, I wasn't even going to bring it up, <laughs> Gavon. Um, I, so vodka's not my jam. Um, I like corn vodkas. So the ones I have here that I really enjoy, um, what's the one, see, I don't even break them out that often. Um, we have one, what is it? It's like the High Rock, High Rock Vodka. So I use that a bunch, but it's like, they're like corn vodka. So they're a little sweeter. They don't have quite, quite the bitterness that, that a lot of the potato vodkas do. Um, there's a lot of, honestly, 13th Colonies makes a really nice vodka. I don't have any here, but it's really nice. Killer Rum is Rolling Fork. Yeah. Old Rip Van Winkle cask. So we have them finished in Weller cask. That's Weller what Ray cask, was saying. He really liked our rum pick. Oh, the rum pick is out of this world. I've tried two or three other Rolling Forks. Finished in whiskey barrels. Ours is better than all of them. Uh, now, Old Rip Van Winkle cask, I don't think are Old Rip Van Winkle cask. I think Old Rip Van Winkle cask are just Weller cask, aren't they? Like, I don't, I don't think they become, like, I think they just go through the weeded cask. I don't know if they're specially marked. Somebody let me know if I'm wrong about that. I could be wrong. I'm just making stuff up as I go. Kentucky Ace, I have not. I'm going to try this Lucky 7 right here before we call it an evening. Well, we gotta have our old fourth makes a killer vodka. I haven't tried those. We, we gotta, gotta have, have a special pour. We're gonna do special. this, then we're gonna do our special pour. I think pour. they can choose between two. Between two, like the two that are on my mind. <laughs> we try two, or they they no, they like, choose which they one. pick one between two. Okay, yeah. we'll do that here in just a second. Nick, how many bottles at home is too many? It depends on your budget and space. Yeah, it will. I have very very too many. That's I've gone past too many two or three times at this point. Honestly, open 50. Is, oh my gosh, the new 50 is sane. 50 is sane. 50 is like, I like variety. I'm a man of sophistication. I got a little means. I've got 50 bottles of whiskey. Um, 200 plus is maybe there's a problem. Maybe there's a little bit of an obsession, or I'm a person that doesn't like to finish things. Um, so when you're at my level where you've got hundreds, I don't know what to tell you. There's probably going to be some sort of um, some sort of phobia or disease or um, syndrome named after me at some point <laughs> because of all the whiskey I have. 
Ronnie wants to know, is it too late to get in on the Clyde Mays bourbon barrel pick? No, the Clyde Mays picks drops tomorrow. So those will drop to patrons tomorrow. Tomorrow, I don't know exactly what time they will start dropping, but if you're in the patron, if you are a patron member, you will be able to pick some of those up. They, we will start at the top tier, and then I think every 20 minutes they move down a tier until eventually, if there are any left, they'll, they'll go you know, to the free tier and then open up to the mailing list in the Discord. Uh, can I get a Glenn for this right here? And then we will try a very special pour. What does over 600 mean? That's, that's, where, I, that's, that's where you get a syndrome named after you. <laughs> that's where it's been too far. You get brusilitis. Brusilitis. This is Lucky 7, the proprietor. Six-year-old Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. At 118 proof. Man, we are uh, at 903 likes. 900? We can't get to, like, we can't uh, get to 1,000 likes. That's impossible. It never happens. That would be a record, too, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> setting records everywhere. Empty a bottle, get another two. Like, that's, like, I wish, honestly, we're going to work on a strategy here at some point next year to get it down to, like, a couple of hundred here at the house. That's the strategy. But I want to have, every time somebody mentions something, like, do you have this? Yes, I just go grab it, right? Um, and so I want all of them, but you just really, realistically, you don't have the space for that. Official whiskey lover status? <laughs> Scott asked, no tater stickers on the barrel pit? So we did, these do have hang tags with Cal Naughton Jr. And this one's miss. mine was missing a hang tag, but it's supposed to have a Ricky Bobby hang tag. We are not tater stickering the picks this year. But we are working on tater stickers for the Frey Ranch and the um, Still Austin picks that are coming. So yeah, next year, the, we did one for the rum. The rum. Um, but we, we're going to try to like officially tater sticker those starting next year. It just takes time, and we've been a, we don't know when they're coming. We've been a little uncoordinated and really busy. Like a lot of the folks who are doing picks and are tater stick, like they're full time in on it. Like y'all got y'all don't realize how busy it is and how hard it is to keep up with this sometimes. So we're trying, we're trying. We will start tater stickering every single pick I can possibly get a tater sticker designed for next year. But I want the stickers to arrive at the retailer, so we need one retailer, and he can sticker it and then mail it to you because us mailing a bunch of stickers was a pain in the booty. Hmm. Uh, yes, country, we hit... Well over, we were over 1,200. I don't know what the maximum was. Let's see, I might be able to tell here. I might be able to click over right here and, nope. Um, nope, it just telling me how many concurrent right now. So until I stop, I can't tell what the max was, but we definitely hit a record tonight for us, for sure. 981 likes. Oh, wow, okay. Again, my palate's a little off tonight, so I'm not going to give it a full judge, but that's pretty good. I tried this, and I I just don't recall positive things about it, but I just don't recall, like, I don't recall negative things. But normally, if they're really good, I'll, I'll remember them. Um, but that's really pleasant this evening. Haven't tried the Duke, Christian. What do you think of that? I like that. Yeah, that's pretty good. Wow. So we need to do a pick with Lucky 7 there, don't we? Anybody have any contacts at Lucky 7? That's so interesting. Yeah, that's good. That's good whiskey there. That's a single barrel. That That's very, very, very sweet and like, oh, man. Yeah, I dig that. I would take a barrel of that right there for show. That is good. Appreciate it, country. 500,000 subscribers. What do you think, Jill? I am 502, actually. 500, oh my God. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. How dare yeah. you? How dare you diminish our accomplishments by <laughs> downplaying it to 500,000? I just think that's, it's mind blowing. Cranick said we hit 1,300 today. Oh, wow. Oh, 1,000 likes. Yeah. We did hit 1,000 likes. I, you know, I baited them into it. I did. I, I did. That good old boy. We're not going to do it. Y'all can't do it. Man, that is so good. <laughs> the holiday toast? Where's, where's a holiday toast? Where's it from? Where's it from? I, 
If I had to just guess, Louisville. I don't know. Y'all tell me. I don't know much about Lucky 7. And then I, I'm going blind. I can't read the bottle. You read the bottle. You tell me. You got your spectacles on. Uh, bl- when do we get a Bruzel Clothing Collab drop? Bardstown Bourbon um, Company. Bardstown, that's Bardstown Bourbon Company? Mm-hmm. Is that their brand? That's not... Okay. Um, didn't realize it was from Bardstown. We're doing some higher end merch. So we are working on, so I'll give y'all a little insight. I'm going to give y'all a little insight. We are looking for, and, huh? Where'd that go? Where'd what go? Did you have any of that left? Maybe. I think that's it. You want it. Jill's like, I'll take it. Um, so I'll give y'all a little insight into the things we're working on as much as I could share. We are looking at a facility right now that might allow us to start aging whiskey so we can do our own stuff. I don't know if it's going to work out. I don't know if we can generate the revenue right now to make that work. We're going to try. We're going to try. But that's going to be several months before we probably know for sure if that's going to work out for us. Uh, We are working on being a little more thoughtful in where we go and when we go there. Because, like, right now, we're like, hey, let's take a road trip. Let's go. We load up and we leave. Yeah. And just kind of. Yeah, we just kind of wing it, right? So we're trying to think, where are we going to be? And then while we're at those places, let's schedule some stuff. Let's involve more people. Let's have a meetup. Let's do a live stream from places. Um, We're also working on improving our merch. So our merch, and I love our designs now, but a lot of them are print on demand, and we have some problems with that and different stuff. So... Um, you know, and, and no problems. Like the, the shirts that y'all get are, are good, but like we want to start printing them ourselves as we go to things. We want to start going to like bourbon festivals, taking a, a merch trailer and not just Bruzel merch, but just like whiskey enthusiast merchandise and start taking a merch trailer to these different events that we go to, but also to just, um, you know, different bourbon festivals and things like that and seeing if we can't, you know, bring a higher quality uh, bourbon focused merch. And so these are all things we're working on behind the scenes, but we're doing it like, you know, part time. So it just, just takes time. Uh, so we're trying to get there. So it's Barton Distillate. That's probably the best Barton I've ever had, honestly. That's that right there is probably good. the best Barton I've ever had. It's not their brand. Okay. Uh, so for our special pour, Jill's going to choose Coy Hill or WLW if I had to mm. guess. Was it, am, am I right? Yes. Yes. Y'all get to pick one. Post in the chat. Are we going Coy Hill or WLW? Tell me which one. Appreciate it, D-Sweet. Whole live's been here also. (coughs) Sound like it's time to go full-time? Yes, it just... So I own a small business, and it's not that simple. All it boils down to, um, it's just not that simple. Whoa. Uh, it looks like WLW is winning in a landslide. There's some coy votes, but WLW is one. That is like BPW. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't think that's an option. That's not an option I gave you. <laughs> um, so let's grab Malort. I don't have any Malort. I'm saving the Malort for the Chicago trip. I've never tried Malort. I'm saving it for the Chicago bourbon hunt. So our favorite pour... Our favorite bottle right here. We both have D. Oh, we're going to do, you get to pour. We both have D. (laughs) We both have D. I don't know what that means. I don't either. CYPB. Uh, That wasn't as good as either of the options I gave you there, cigars and spirits. I like what TJ says. We got plans, but I can't talk about it. Then he talks about it. So I, I talked, so Mike, just know, if I say I can't talk about it, there is a lot of subtlety and nuance and details and things I'm not telling you. I'm telling you as much as I can tell you, but there is a lot of, it's a lot more exciting than I'm able to share with you, but I also don't want to, like one, I don't want to share it and then it not work out because I shared it, right? Because something happens because I'm, I'm putting things out there that aren't true or somebody else jumps on the same opportunities we're working on, but I also don't want to share it and then it not happen and then I got to like bring the excitement level down a little bit, right? <laughs> I get to go on that roller coaster of excitement, but I don't want to put y'all through it. Um, I wish everybody had some WLW. That's, a, that's probably the heaviest pour of WLW I've ever had right there. That is um, I'm sorry. for sure. Yes, it's Greg says Jill broke out the double Ds. Yeah. 
Bunker Branding. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm familiar with them. So we, we're going to probably do our own thing, have it printed mm-hmm. locally and start... You can finish that in your little yeah, after-hours yeah. uh, chat. Yes, I'm going to be in the after-hours chat here in just a few. John Price! Late to the party, but he just made it. John just started a YouTube channel doing some automotive stuff. He's working on it. Finally, I've been telling him. Good job, Get John. started, get started, get started, get started. He has finally got started. Awesome. Appreciate it, Smokey. Thank you, man. I, I never, Honestly, I never thought we'd make it to half a meal. My palate is, I've been telling you, my palate's messed up today. Oh my God. But that is still the best thing I've ever had with my palate messed up. Like, honestly, this might be, be, I think everything else I've had today is not quite as good as it would have been had my palate been normal. But this is maybe better with my palate off. This is not fair to other bourbons. It's not fair. It is not fair. fair. Yes. It's just not fair. New bar met my best friends on bourbon drop lines. Like, dude, I'm, I'm the same. I met a lot of my close friends at bourbon drops. What's John's YouTube channel? Uh, I think it, it may be John Price. I think it's literally you John just click Price. on his thing. So he does automotive stuff. Automotive. So he's working on it. He's getting there. He's, he's dropped his first few videos. We got some work to do. We got some work to do, but he's, he's got a great start. Always a bourbon guy, but just cracked another caribou crossing. Hey, go for it, man. Whatever's good. Try it. Burn your taste buds for the weekend on the Malort. When you're in San Jose, let's have a Bay Area get-together. Tim, we, I, I, we're not 100% sure we're going to make it to the Bay Area in January when we come out for that pick. Um, we're trying to book. We need to book our travel. Like It's yeah, getting more expensive by the day. Um, we, the, as close as we – I was hoping we would have a whole day there, but honestly, Reno might be as close as we get, unfortunately, yeah. this trip. We will make it back out there for sure, Tim, and we will do something in that area for sure. What happened to Jill's blind pick to end the night? Dude, my palate's gone. She would completely and totally <laughs> roast me. I would win my Disney this. trip she would, for sure. She would kill me tonight. I'm going to be honest. She would kill me. Um, <laughs> how much would you spend for that? I have no idea what I would spend for it, but it's a really good bottle of whiskey. What, the Lucky 7? Yeah. Oh, it's so good. Uh, four Rows of Single Barrel is the best. I mean, you might be getting Four Rows of Single Barrel is a delicious whiskey. You get a little crazy with the best, especially when you're telling me Four Roses is the best and I'm drinking William LaRue. But Four Roses is fantastic bottle of whiskey. Buffalo Trace is awesome. Which year is that? Where's the white lab coat? I think this is 2019. I think this is 19. It could be 18. I think this is 19. Y'all tell me. This is 134.5 proof, it looks like. WLW. Good night, Kyle. And don't forget, if y'all are um, in the Discord, if you're a supporter, if you're a patron, or if you're a channel member here, if you're a channel member, jump over there. You may have to ping a mod or something. You may have to ping me. Um, Just hit me up in a chat. I probably won't be able to fix it tonight, but we have a supporters-only chat. I will jump into that audio chat here as soon as we're off this stream, and we'll hang out over there for another hour or so. It's the nicest-looking BTAC. It's just simple, man. Bobby G in the house. Congrats on everything. Cheers to more success. Thank you, Bobby G. Appreciate the support. Oh, so good. Haven't had tumbling dice. All right, I think we are going to call it here. Again, I'm going to jump over on that supporter-only chat here in just a minute. Had a great time. We'll be live next Monday. I hope, I hope I have our 13th Colonies pick here for that. I don't know whether we do or whether we don't. I expect it to be for sale Tuesday. Don't forget, these guys will go on sale tomorrow. Um, time. I think I don't. I don't know. I don't know if Shred's here. Last time we dropped them later in the day. That seemed to be better for everybody. So I'm, I don't know what time he plans on dropping those. We will start notifying folks. Uh, if somebody has read the Discord message and he's posted a time, I, I don't know. I should know this. I'm a horrible host for not knowing. 5 5 p.m., that's what I thought. 5 p.m. Central Time, we will start rolling these guys out um, and the rise. These are, um, and and you'll be able to buy one of each if you want to. So um, I expect these to be able to get to a lot of folks in the patron group. So if you're interested in those, grab those. Chris right here, Rare Body Shop. We can't wait. Like, send me a message. Chris, send me a message. Like, if you're a body shop too, that might help me because I need... A little rust repair. 
on the on the top. We need like a vinyl top. It like hit me up. Let's figure something out. I need somebody good and around you know general area. So we need to get. I'm, I'm a little frustrated that Maggie's not on the road right now. So times are listed on Patreon. There you go. Appreciate it. Apparently the Giants are beating Green Bay, which you know sucks for Green Bay. Um, looking for an Eagle Rare 17 this year. Me too. Lord have mercy. That one needs to be. Mm. Which one? Who? Who? That down, that down. Right? That, no, no, up. Down. Yeah, that one. This person? But they, It was on up. Yeah. That oh. One. Yeah. Yeah, messy. Uh, here, right. Is, uh, being alcoholics fun. We wouldn't we know. We wouldn't know. Because we're not alcoholics. Just because you have a few drinks doesn't make you an alcoholic. But I tell you what, it's a. Well, well, sh- sh- hold on, hold on, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Here, I got a little something for you. I got a little something for you right here. Let's see. See if this still works. I don't know. Does that still work? I don't give a damn. I don't really care. It says, I don't give a damn. I don't give a damn. You talk with your mind. You know? Um, we're going to stop that real quick. And uh, I'll tell you what it is. I'll tell you what it is, Mesa. It is a lot more fun than being just a uh, miserable person on the internet. So. All right, appreciate y'all. Had a good time. This was a fun stream. We will catch up with y'all next Monday. Again, grab these Clyde Mays if you're interested in those. And next week, I'm hoping those 13th colonies roll out. I know a lot of y'all are interested and excited about those. So uh, we'll catch y'all later. Thank you all for helping us to reach that 500,000 subscriber mark. So awesome. Could not have done it without y'all. Much more than I expected. And honestly, we hit 1,300 tonight, which is just a crazy, awesome stream. Uh, This is a wonderful community, and we are just lucky enough to be uh, a part of it. So I appreciate y'all, and we'll catch up with y'all later.